So the other day I, I made a post about how there's 168 hours in a week. Most people spend about 40 hours working. They work out an hour a day, it's another seven hours and um, sleeping eight hours, which leaves about 65 hours left over for everything else you have to get done. Well, I got a lot of comments, some good, some bad. You know, some people saying they're like a single mom, work three jobs, and once they drop their kids off and clean and do all the housework, they're in the negative already. So I just wanted to have a follow-up post for that, um, you know, for, the, for that quote that I put on there. And really what it comes down to is priorities. You know, you have to prioritize, you know, what, you know, has to get done, what, you know, what has to get done today, what has to get done, you know, this week, or what you can put off and, you know, and do it at a later, you know, at a later time. So um, one of the other things that uh, people are saying is that they don't really know where their time goes. So a good, you know, uh, practice is to just take like three or four days, try to have like one day on a weekend and just write down, not in hour increments, that's what everybody tends to do, but in 15 minute, 15 minute increments, everything that you're doing all day long and do that for like three days, you know, like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that way, you know, one's like a normal weekday, one's like a Friday, which is sometimes more relaxed and then one's like a weekend day. And you kind of get an idea of what you're doing, you know, all the time. And then you can, from there, you know, prioritize what has to get done, what you have to do, what somebody else can't do for you, you know, and what can also wait, you know, into the future. So go ahead and give that a shot and, and let me know what you think.